All right, I got a third video I'm going to do today because when I saw this article, I thought this was absolutely fantastic. And if you're one of the people that listened to some of my advice, you may be very happy to hear what I'm about to say. Now, of course, anything can change and they're speculating at this point. But these books that I'm about to talk about are books I told people to get years ago that you could have paid anywhere from a dollar to three dollars a piece. And nowadays... Once people start reading this announcement, and if any of these things start to happen, well, what do you think is going to happen to those books? So hopefully people listen to my advice. But while I'm waiting for people to come in, because I'm sure not only were people not expecting two videos, but to have a third video today, most people are not expecting it. So um, while I'm waiting for some people to come in before I show the announcement so more people can see it, I added some uh, gold and palladium bars for sale on my website. The link is in the description. I'll put it here live. I'm selling them below spot because if I can sell those, it's going to help me move and get the house, um, provided we get approved and everything. Um, I also have the comic book mystery boxes and the individual comics you've seen in the other videos for sale on that link. Please check it out and hopefully share the link if you can. All right, so I see enough people here. Let me show this article. So let me change this really quick. And it shows that people who listen to my channel, I had information years ago. And sometimes you got to sit on things for years. That's what happens with any investment. You know, most people, if you buy a house, unless it's a steal, you know, you're going to have to sit on it for a while. Most people in this business or in this, you know, collection of comics, most people just don't have that patience and need to flip things right now. And that's why most people don't make money and don't have successful businesses. Sometimes, you know, you got to wait. You got to play the waiting game. So there's some books I was talking about years ago that you could have gotten anywhere from a dollar to five dollars a piece that nobody cared about, no one was talking about, and most people probably did not take advantage of. Now there's an article about it, and this is on gocollect.com, so check them out if you want. But let me switch this so you can see the video camera mode. All right, so you can see my thing right here. Here's the article, and they did, did this today. The Midnight Suns and other Marvel horror properties to watch. Now, I'm not going to read this. I'll let you guys read it. But they're talking about, especially with Doctor Strange 2, they're getting more into the horror stuff. Now, if you've been a follower of my channel for a long time, you know that since about 2016, I was telling people about some inside information that I got that they said in either Phase 4 or Phase 5, they are going to start getting into the underworld characters like Mephisto and all of these other characters. So you already see they've officially had Blade in there. And now they're, they're talking about the rumors that they're already talking about starting to look into, into the Midnight Suns. I was telling people that years ago. I had people laughing at me. I had people telling me I was crazy and stupid and dumb and all these other names under the sun. It's a waste of money. You're not going to get anything. And look what's happening. They're already starting to talk about it. And if they end up being confirmed, well, those books that were once able to be gotten for a dollar are going to be 50, 70, 100, 200, 500. I mean, look what happens these days. As soon as there's an announcement, a book doubles overnight. So I love the fact that I was right on this one. I love the fact that so many people doubted me and made fun of me and told me that I was crazy and they were never going to amount to anything and oh, I don't had, I didn't have inside sources, and yet look at all the things that are happening. My track record's been pretty darn good. Now, obviously, I'm not batting a thousand, but I'm definitely not striking out every time either. So books like like Gor Gorilla Grodd wrote uh, Silver Surfer Three. I was telling people years to get that book. The same thing with the uh, Tomb of Dracula 10. I have three copies of that book. I was telling people three, two, three years ago to get that book. Now you're going to spend five times the amount. So right now, if you can, they're still cheap. Get the Midnight Sun books. Just type in on eBay the Midnight Suns. And before you do it, make sure if you have your cash back program, make sure you activate it before you pay for anything so you can get the cash back. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a link in the description of this and every video. It's free to sign up, and you get 2% cash back on eBay with your comic book purchases. And if you sign up for the first time by clicking on the link and you um, spend $25 or more, 
within the first 90 days, you get um, $10 additional cash back, and I get a one-time referral fee. So these are books I was telling people to get years ago. I hope you listened, but I will tell you right now, you might want to listen now. Now, obviously, you don't have to. You could think I'm full of you-know-what. You could say I don't know what I'm talking about. You can believe the people that make up rumors about me. That's perfectly fine. My track record is pretty spot-on with these things. And for a while, I had some inside information that people were telling me. Now, this was stuff that wasn't going to happen for five to eight years. But that means you had plenty of time to stock up on them and save a heck of a lot of money. So if you look at some of my previous early videos, you'll see I was talking about it even before I shut down my original We Love Comics channel. But those who followed me from the other can absolutely verify that I've talked about this stuff way in the past. Most people buy things when everybody else wants it. And you're going to spend through the nose at that point because supply and demand. The day before an announcement, there is no demand, so the prices are low. All of a sudden, there's a movie announcement announcement or a character announcement all of a sudden you have thousands of people that didn't want that book all of a sudden wanting it and trying to fight for getting the price of that book what do you think is going to happen it's going to rise so trust me on these things they haven't confirmed anything yet which means now you still have time to get those books the midnight suns are definitely books to get blade probably a little too late at this point you're probably going to overspend but you may find deals so don't give up on it like I showed in one of the videos I did the other day with the showing my graded comics, I got a Amazing Spider-Man number 129 that came back a 6.5. I paid $189 for it, and I got it this year, a couple of months ago. So deals can always be found. But you could probably still find these Midnight Sun books for a dollar to five dollars, maybe ten dollars, still in their original bags because most people don't know about this and most people don't care about them. When will they care about them? As soon as somebody announces that they are in a movie. Now keep in mind, I can't guarantee any or all of these will be in there. But we already know Blade is, and he was part of the Midnight Sun storyline. You have people like Ghost Rider. You have people like Mephisto. You have people like, um... Oh, what's his name? Well, you have other demonic characters. The Son, Son of Satan might be in there. So, get these books while they're cheap. Because the best part is, if it doesn't happen, what'd you spend? Two or three dollars? Instead of spending two or three hundred. Unfortunately, most people are followers. They do what everybody else does. They follow the herd, even when the herd goes off a cliff. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. Morbius, yes. He's part of the Midnight Suns as well, and he's getting a movie. So until you see a um, teaser trailer or something, most people won't care. That's when you buy things. You want to buy things when people don't know about them. Not when everybody's talking about them. You have to think, like Yoda once said, you have to unlearn what you have learned. Because the very smart people want you to follow the herd. They want you to buy things where they're on the rise. So this way, they can buy them back when the prices drop. And they're the ones selling them as they go up. So hopefully you guys will see that I've been trying to help people for years to save you money. The clocks are ticking on the prices of some of these books. You see it time and time again. Don't be one of those people that says, ah, oh, I have a day. It's like anything in life. You could be perfectly fine one day, and the next day everything falls apart. So be prepared for everything. Make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you research. Make sure you ask questions. Make sure you know the value of things. And pay attention to people trying to help you with information. And Harvey says, by palladium, do you mean platinum? No, by palladium, I mean palladium. Because palladium is actually rarer than platinum. Uh, just look it up. So, palladium's... Uh, well, let's put it this way. Palladium um, right now is roughly about $1,530 an ounce. Yeah, $1,530 an ounce. Platinum is at 852 an ounce. So, palladium's much more rare, much more expensive. So I am selling a couple of those. If I can sell all seven of those ounces, I could end up being able to have the down payment for that house, no problem. So if you know anybody that's into precious metals or comic books or the mystery boxes, please share the links. It will help me and help my cat and help my family. And if you're those that care, um, anything you can do will help, will be appreciated. So go check out those Midnight Sun books. 
They're still going to be fairly cheap right now, but if they make any announcements, I promise you, they're not going to be cheap anymore, and a lot of people will be kicking themselves. So this is probably your, you know, your two-minute warning when it comes to those books. You know, you're not going to retire on those. They're not going to be Amazing Fantasy 15 levels. But if you buy them at 1 or 2 or 5 or 10 or even 20, and those books are one, two, three hundred dollars $300 because there's an announcement, if there's an announcement, you're going to be very happy. You know, if you bought them at 150 and they're 300 you're still going to be happy, but why spend 150 when you could spend 10 I don't understand the logic of the majority of people when it comes to investing. And people say time and time when they see my books and they see the value and what I paid for them and everything, it's because I do the research, because I know what I'm purchasing. I know what's a good deal and I know what's a bad deal. I also know how to control my emotion. I know that even if there's a book that I want and I've lost bid after bid, I know that if I can't find the deal that I'm looking for, which is around 50% of what its value is, I won't buy it. I'll wait. Most people cannot do that. That's why they overspend, and that's why they ultimately end up not happy. Now, I've said many times, low grade is better than no grade. So it always goes based on your ability to, you know, be able to afford something. I mean, it would be nice if we had a 9.6 Amazing Fantasy 15, but how many people can afford that? If you can only afford a coverless of that, then that's better than nothing. At least you could say you own it. Because whether you own a 0 0.5 Amazing Fantasy 15 or a 9.8 Amazing C Fantasy 15, you own an Amazing Fantasy 15. So don't let the people that worry only about high grades make you think you're not as special, you're not as good, or your comic isn't as happy as it should make you feel. The problem is, and I've been a victim of this over the years too, we let too many of the negative Nancys influence our judgments and our happiness and what we do. It's time to think for yourself and listen to those who inspire you, not ones that keep you grounded, keep you sedated, keep you, you know, in the in the herd. It's time to set yourself free. So, Eternals, I'm not sure if it jumped yet, but I'm sure it will. And as you see teaser trailers and, and regular trailers and everything, because remember, the Eternals is not a one-and-done film. There's going to be many more. So if, they, if they're done right, and so far Marvel has a pretty good track record, the chances of that book going up are going to be pretty good. But always remember, with any investment, there are always risks. So keep that in mind. If you cannot, you know, survive the lows and you're waiting on nothing but the highs, you're going to be sad more times you'll be happy, especially if you don't research and you don't put in the time and effort it takes to get the deals like I do. And I have a lot of tip videos in my playlist, I even give my eBay secrets. If you haven't watched them and you've been subscribed for a while, you're getting free information that can help you. If you choose not to do it and take the 20 minutes to an hour of your time to learn how to do things, well, that's by choice. I can't force anybody, nor will I force anybody, to, to do things to help themselves. But once you start doing that, you'd be amazed at how many things start turning around. And that's why... With all the things I've had lately going on, I will get that house or an equivalent if I can't get this one. I will do everything in my power. And that's why I'm selling some of my comic books. That's why I'm doing those mystery boxes. And yes, that's why I have now added some precious metals on my web store. And if somebody buys two of those uh, precious metals, I'll throw in a silver coin for free. So not only are you paying below spot for these and not have to pay taxes, if you buy two of them... I will send a free silver coin. So that's my video, and I'm sticking to it. I have posted the link in the live chat. If anybody can share it, that's great. If you can, when you see it days, weeks, months later, every penny helps me with my cat and helps with the moving. So I know some of you might be tired of hearing this, but you know what? The faster I get this stuff done, the, the faster I you don't have to hear this stuff anymore. Because trust me, I want to get back to just doing comics anyway myself. So I was right about the Midnight Suns. Go check out GoCollect.com and look at their most recent article. You'll see if you want to read about it. Because I don't want to take away from somebody's effort that wrote that. But they're already talking about the Midnight Suns in Phase 4 and Phase 5. I was telling people about that three years ago and maybe about 10 people listened. So if you're one of those 10, congratulations. If you're ones that are listening now, you still have time. Because whether you make money or lose money, it doesn't affect me at all. I do it because it's better to help people than to hurt people. 
and there are definitely some people in this quote-unquote community that could benefit from that kind of advice. Thanks for listening, everybody. Love you all. Always appreciate you guys. Thumbs up are definitely not a requirement, but absolutely appreciated. Um, Hit subscribe if you haven't. And don't forget, it's not you, it is not I, it's We Love Comics. I'll see you next video.